The Legend of El Capo, uh, El Chapo, cartel chief cultivated Robin Hood image. Uh, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman eluded arrested arrest for so long that the stories about him veer closer and closer to the stuff of legend. So powerful is he. People said that he can bribe anyone. He commands so much loyalty. The so the story goes that he's always tipped off when the heat is close. He's so fearless that that he can live his life without concern of being caught. Of course, now we know his influence has its limit. Guzman. Was arrested overnight in a hotel in the Pacific Beach town of Mazatlan in his home state of Sinaloa. He had been on the lane since uh, escaping from prison in 2001, and no one that we know of came close to catching the drug lord who regularly appears on Forbes magazine list. Of most powerful people, the rumor was that with that kind of money, he could be hiding anywhere in the world. In the in the end, he was caught just 140 miles from the city of Culiac Culiacan, the home base of for his Sinaloa drug cartel. Mexican Marines, treated by Mexico as the least suspicious. Susceptible to corruption, and the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, an administration who have a hand in nearly all major busts, carry out a joint operation. This latest chapter in the drug lord's life will likely end up immortalized in lyrics, such as the corridos or folk songs. Sung about him in Mexico and the idolization crossed the border north. Consider the lyrics of rapper of rapper Gucci Mane's 2012 song. All I wanna be is El Chapo. Fully automatic slice your auto. All I want, all I wanna be is El Chapo. Three billion dollars in in pesos. All I wanna be is El Chapo, and、uh, and when I meet him, I I wanna tell him Bravo. Guzman was born in Bad Badiraguato, Sinaloa, at a time when the drug trade was evolving, and began his career in the drug trade, working for powerful drug lord Miguel Angel Felix Gala Galador, according to a bio biography for time. He found he founded his own cartel in 1980 and quickly established outposts in a number of states. Eventually, inheriting some of his mentor's mentor's territory, according to Time, his drug empire became Mexico's most powerful, the Sinaloa cartel. He also was deadly. Authorities said he surrounded himself with an army of ruthless guard, guards and enforcers. And reigned over a worldwide multi-billion-dollar drug empire that supplies much of the marijuana and cocaine peddled on the streets of U.S. cities. In U.S. in the indictment, the organization was accused of using assassins and his squads to maintain control. In Mexico, the strength of His enterprise helped unle unleash an ongoing drug war that has left thousands of, thousands of his countrymen dead. Guzman was arrested in Guatemala in 1993 and intradicted to Mexico, where he was convi convicted and sentenced to a maximum sec security prison. One of the most often retold stories about him is how he escaped from the prison in a laundry car in 2001. The careful plan escape required bribes and cooperation that 
alleged allegedly cost him uh two point five dollars two point five million dollar million dollars according to Malcolm Bates book Last Narco. He's a fascinating character. Bath to CNN in, in, in an interview last year. He is the epitome of problem. He's a poor kid who had some family connections in drug trade. No options, no real education, and becomes a big time drug lord. Even during his time in prison, there was a very little doubt that he lived like a king inside, they said. And although he disliked dislikes the title what's most wanted drug lord it is an accurate description of who Guzman is, he said. There's a tons of other drug lords around, but I think the Sinaloa cartel given its growth, given its influence, I think it puts him on the top, Beth says said Guzman legend only grew while he was on the run from authorities. Stories of him helping the poor or taking everyone's cell phones at a restaurant while he ate and then footing everyone's bill for their inconvenience. I think probably a lot of them have some truth. Scott Stewart, Vince President, Vice President of Analysis at Stratfor, told CNN last year he wants to try to foster that whole mystic the mistake of him being some sort of Robin Hood character helping helped Guzman as he tried to ev evade arrest, he said. I think there is a false narrative that says El Chapo is king of his ben benevolent businessman, Stuart said. In truth, Guzman is known for not hesitating to use force when he needs to. When he needs to. And for being bribing officials who get in his way, he said. His capture will shed some light on just how loyal his followers were and how far his bribe money got him. His legend stands tall, but the next images Mexico will see of him likely will be standing between federal police officers handcuffed. El Chapo will be reduced to the men. Not the myth, not the myth. But on social media, however, many were betting that Guzman might escape again. Don't get so worked about the arrest. On Twitter, user wrote, "He's going to escape again in a car of dirty laundry." Ukraine's president calls efforts to push him from office a coup. Are you, uh, Kiev, Ukraine, freed from prison? Former Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukrainian Prime Minister Yulia Timosh, Timoshenko uh, returned Saturday to the battleground capital, the same day the country's president said he left Kiev because of a coup. Uh, time. Timoshenko's release was the latest in a day of dramatic, fast-paced fast develop development that saw parlia par Parliament vote to remove President Viktor Yanukovych, Yanukovych from office and call for new elections. Today, Ukraine has finished with his terrible Dictator Mr. Yanukovych Timoshenko told the cheering crowd of thousands in Kiev's Independence Square the scene of deadly demo demonstrations. Just hours after her release from a prison hospital, Timoshenko called for justice for protesters killed in demonstrations sparked by the president's decision to scrap to scrap a trade deal with the European with the European Union in favor of one with Russia. You were able to change Ukraine and you can do everything, she told the crowd. Everything has a right to take part in building a European independent state. But Yanukovych took to television airwaves 
saying he had been forced to leave Kiev because of vandal vandalizing crime in the coup. I don't plan to leave the country. I don't plan to resign. I am the legitimate president. He said in an interview from Kar Kharkiv, a pro-Russian stronghold near Ukraine's border with that nation. What I'm going to do next is to protect my country from a split to stop the bloodshed. I don't know how to do it yet. I am in Kharkiv and I don't know what I'm going to do next. He did not address reports that he attempted to leave the country by airplane. According to the head of Ukraine's border, border guard service, Sergei Ostakov Yanukovych and his entourage attempted to board a charter flight without proper document documentation in the eastern city of Donetsk. Donetsk. He was on the tarmac when he was turned back by security forces. Astakov told CNN, confirming an account he gave to Ukraine's Interfax news agency. In that account, Astakov said border security and approached the plane to check paperwork. An, an armed group of people on the plane attempted to offer money to to the inspectors to allow the flight to take off. When, when the inspectors refused the money, Yanukovych and others in his entourage exceed, exceeded the plane and got into two vehicles that drove up on the tarmac. Astakov is quoted as saying, Ukraine's dismissed interior minister, Vitaly Vitaly Zakhar Zakharchenko also was refused ex exit from the country in a similar incident at the same airport. Astakov said, The events of the day raised questions about just who is in control in Ukraine, with parliament, par parliament voting to oust Yanukovych and who new elections on May 25th. The vote came just 24 hours after Yanukovych signed a peace deal with the opposition intended to end days of bloody protest. People's residents. At the pres present present presidential residence in Kiev suburb, the president's living quarters were Vacant, his guards gone. Government buildings, protest gathering, and the central city were devoid of office and security forces who had op opened fire on protesters this week, killing dozens. As a CNN crew drove to Yanukovych's residence, it passed checkpoints set up by pro protesters. When the crew arrived, the gatekeepers said that they were said they were not allowing the genu general public onto the ground, but they let journalists enter. The civil servants asked that the reporters treat his home as a crime scene and refer to it as the people's resident. But not everyone in Ukraine was happy with the news. The countries, if ethnically uh, split with many ethnic Russians living in the East. The rest comprises mostly ethnic, ethnic Ukrainians. In several cities, people have toppled state statues of Vladimir Lenin, a founder of the Soviet Union. The communist Empire had included Ukraine until it gained independence in 1991 after the fall of the Soviet Union. In a sign of deep divisions, government supporters took to the streets Saturday night in Kharkiv to protest a monument in Lenin that anti-government protesters threatened to tear down. Police in riot gear stood between the two sides. 
while others erected a temporary fence around the monument. Freeing Timoshenko in the Verkhovna Rada, Verkhovna Rada, Verkhovna Rada, Ukraine's parliament, lawmakers passed a resolution to free time. Timoshenko, a hero of the country's 2004 revolution, that forced the questionable results of a presidential election won by Yanukovych to be thrown out. Timoshenko served as prime minister from 2007 to 2010 and was forced out of office after losing an election to Yanukovych. She was sentenced to 2011 to seven years in prison after being convicted of abuse of authority over a, over a natural gas deal negotiated with Russia in 2009. The case against her was widely considered to have been politically motivated and the Un United States and all the Western nations called her a political prisoner. In 2012, after she was al allegedly beaten unconscious by God, she went on a, on a hunger strike to draw attention to violence and lack of rights in her country. In Washington, White House Press Secur Secretary Jay Carney said U.S. officials were closely monitoring development. We have considered Consistent, consistently advocated a de as escal escalation of violence, constitutional change, a coalition government, and early elections and today's developments could move us closer to that goal, he said in the statement. Russia's, Russia's ambassador, ambassador to the United Nations Vitaly Churkin con condemned what he called Western attempts to influence the outcome of the tumult in Ukraine. In Ukraine, either they don't understand the consequences of what they are doing, or they engage in a very provo provocative game of destabil destabilizing Ukraine and therefore Eastern Europe. Turkin said in a post on his official tweet account. A day earlier, Turkin accused the op opposition of wanting to take power of force. If those so-called democratic opposition leaders come to power on the shoulders of thugs that will not produce democra democracy in Ukraine, he said, by Saturday, a Tidal wave of political change appeared to be engulfing Ukraine, with key Yanukovych allies leaving office and presidential duties being handed off until a new cabinet has been selected. During the par 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 parliament parliamentary session, resignations were announced for the speakers and nor the leading presidential ally. Hours later, Parliament elected a new speaker, a rival to Yanukovych, and gave him the duty of co coordinating the executive office until a new cabinet is in place. Another opposition parliamentarian received the duties of acting interior minister. The Verkhovna Rada sacked Yanukovych, Yanukovych's prosec prosecutor general. Disorders route. The unrest began in November when Yanukovych scrapped a European Union treaty and turned to a Russia. Russia, which has offered to lend money to cash strapped Ukraine in a deal worth billions of dollars and to lower its gas prices has pressured Yanukovych to crack down on demonstrators. 
Western leaders who have offered Ukraine a long-term aid package requiring economic moder modern mo modern modernization modernization urge him to show restraint, open the government to the opposition, and let the democratic process work out deep-seated political differences. But why was there also able corruption and control? The opposition called Yanukovych heavy-handed with protesters saying they wouldn't leave Independence Square until he resigned. Tensions boiled over Tuesday when security force forces charged into Kiev crowd with stone grenades, nightsticks, and armored personnel carriers. The violence escalated, leaving dozens of protesters, protesters and police alike dead. Go for Russia, silver for South Korea's Yuna Kim and controversy issues ensures CNN in a in the final chapter of her story storied Olympic figured figure skating career South Korea's Yuna Kim won silver not able to defend her shot at gold against a Russia a Russian teenager who seemingly who seemingly came out of nowhere to get the top prize instantly there was controversy uh, Russia's Adelina Sot Sotnikova finished with a total score of 224.59, beating Kim's score of 219.11 by 5.48 points. I, after the free skate program, Sot Sotnikova, 17, became the first female Russian skater to win the category. Some pointed out that she had stepped, stepped out after landing a triple combination, and others raised questions about the anonymous judging system. Dick Button, a men's figure skating two-time Olympic gold medalist, said he didn't think Sotnikova was the whole package. Dick Button Sotnikova was energetic, strong, commendable, but not a complete skater. I fear I will never be allowed back in Russia again. I fear I will never be allowed back in Russia again. It didn't help that one of the judges had been suspended for a year for trying to fix an event at the Winter Olympics 16 years ago. Or that another is married to the head of, Rus of the Russia Figure Skating Federation. American figure skater Ashley Wagner also slammed the judge on Thursday night. She skated without falling but finished 7th behind several skaters that had stumbled on the ice. She even finished behind Russian skater Julia, Lipnit Julia Lipnitskaya, Julia Lipnitskaya, who fell more than once. I feel gipped, Wagner said, according to Yahoo Sports. People don't want to watch a sport sport where you see people fall down and somehow score above someone who goes clean. Critics have created a petition at change at change uh, at change.org urging that the judging be investi be investigated. Early Friday morning the petition had more than one point six million supporters. Opinion varied on where, whether the right skater got a gold medal. Sotnikova's program has seven triple jumps, which was one more than Kim's. The final judgment slipped sports journalist and figure skating expert. It's debatable, but not a robbery, wrote 
Chris Chess of USA Today. So Nikova skated well enough to win gold. She had a carefully uh, con constructed program with seven triples, five of which were in a combo. Kim and six and three respectively. The Sotnikova was going to Sotnikova was going in with a higher total and made more margin for error, which she took advantage for of with a mirror with a, of a minor hop after one exchange. So Nikova's technical score of 75.54 dwarfed Kim's technical score of 69.969 Results? Um, uh, no. But all of us weren't convin convinced. Could Browning a four-time world champion told the New York Times, I just couldn't see how Yuna and Sotnikova, Sotnikova were so close in the comp component. I was shocked. What? Suddenly, she just became a better skater overnight. I don't know what happened. I'm still trying to figure it out. It, it, it is Coral Carolina Coast, Coast, Coastner to the Browns. Kim was looking to be only a third woman to defend her Olympic figure skating title. Joining Katarina Witt, who, who took to ice in Calgary 26 years ago, and Sonia Hanning, who competed who competed in the 1920s and 30s. In 2010, she took gold in the Vancouver Olympics by a, land, by a landslide, where she scored a record 228.56 points to win in women's figure skating. She ex eclipsed her closest her closest rival by a massive 23.06 points, known as Queen Yuna to her legends of fans. Kim's victory in Vancouver made her the first Korean figure skater to win a gold medal. Three reasons why El Chapo arrest matters. CNN, the arrest of George Kim, Kimping Joaquin El Chapo Guzman is a monu monumental moment in the world war on drugs that he was hiding in plain sight in the beach resort hotel in the Mexican Riviera town of Mazatlan is as dramatic a twist in the manhunt for Guzman as in as is a narrative behind his life and his con control of the international Sinaloa drug cartel. Mm. Here are three reasons why the arrest of Guzman, now being held by Mexican authorities and sought for extradition by U.S. authorities, matters so much. First, his legend, Chicago declared him and his use of the city as a drug dealing hub as public enemy number one, joining by gone gangster Al Capone. Al Capone in that distinction. West Point combating terrorism center devoted a report to the international presence of Guzman and his drug traffic traf traf trafficking. Perhaps most importantly, El Chapo is synonymous with narco culture and its lurid glorifica glorification. Guzman, 56, is the drug kingpin ex extraordinary. extraordinary.
El Chapo, which means shorty in Spanish, inspires American rap songs and the genre of Mexican ballads called narco narco corridos. Narco corridos. All I wanna be is El Chapo. Three billion dollars in pesos is part of the chorus to a 2012 rap by Gucci Mane. Maybe the most potent message of El Chapo's arrest is how it undermines his most audacious myth that he could never be caught again, unfindable in Mexico's back country. Guzman had been caught once before by Mexican authorities in 2001, but he escaped from a high-security Mexican prison. Law held that he slipped out of the prison by hiding in a laundry basket. He, he kind of plays up to it. All these guys do. Scott Stewart, vice president at Stratford, a global in intelligence firm, said about the El Chapo legends, it just kind of adds to the whole mythology. Kind of that the old pulp western books they used to write about these outlaws. Guzman had eluded authorities since the 2001 prison break because he cultivated an old school mafia style of bribing official, officials at every level of government throughout Latin America, officials said. Second, second reason, one of the world's most wanted, Guzman's drop operation is believed to have penetrated not just all of the Americans but Europe, Australia and West Africa as well, according to the West Point report. The United States remain the most important demand market for Sina Sinaloa Federation products, products, marijuana, cocaine and muffin 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 Vitamins, modern vitamins. The European Union and Australia, however, have proven attractive due to the economics of price elastic, elastic, elasticity, elasticity, and elasticity, and their distance from the supply source, according to a report. The authorities have been mounting pressure on Guzman's Sinaloa cartel in recent months. His lieutenants have been killed or captured by Mexican authorities. Earlier police operations yield a trove of intelligence, including cell phones and other data. A US law enforcement official said that help Mexican authorities and US drug enforcement administration agents hunting Guzman gained confidence, confidence in recent weeks that they could arrest him. Although it's a ridiculous phrase, the world's most wanted drug lord is accurate, said Malcolm Beth, author of The Last Narco, which is about Mexico's drug war. Drug war. There's a, there's tons of other drug lords around, but I think the Sinaloa cartel, given its growth, given its influence, hemis hemispheric and otherwise, I think that puts him on the top. Phil Jordan, who spent three decades with the with the DA and headed the agency's El Paso Intelligence Center. Also characterize, characterized Guzman in sup, superlatives. When you arrest the most powerful man in the Americans, in the Americans and in Mexico, if you talk to any cartel member, they'll say that he's more powerful than Mexican President Pena Nieto. Jordan said this would be a significant blow to the overall operate operations not only in the, in the Americans but Ch Chapo Guzman had expanded to Europe. 
he was all over the place. Even Forbes magazine put Guzman among its world's most powerful people since 2009. Forbes estimated his fortune at more than one billion dollars. The third reason: U.S. indictment. Guzman's arrest has re-energized Mexican and U.S. lawmen. Who spent years tracking his cartel and yet unable to capture him until now? The United States doesn't want to see Guzman escape escape again. That's why they are eager to see him extradite, extradited to the United States as soon as possible, where he's named in multiple fe federal drug indictments and has been on the these most wanted. List on the DA's most wanted list. It's a significant arrest, provided he's, he gets extradited immediately to the United States. Jordan told CNN, 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 if he does not get extradited, then he will be allowed to escape within a period of time. Added one U.S. official. Now comes the hard part. Hard part. That official was referring to Guzman's extradition to the United States. After years on run, Sinaloa cartel chief, Sinaloa cartel chief El Chapo Guzman, arrested. CNN. After eluding capture. For more than a dozen years, the legendary boss of one of the world's most powerful and deadly drug trafficking operations was naped in a surprise raid on a seaside hotel condominium tower in a bustling Mexican beach resort, authorities said. Jacqueline El Chapo Guzman, who infamously Escaped in 2001 from a high security prison in a laundry court, was arrested early Saturday in Mazatlan without a single shot being fired. Authorities said a U.S. law enforcement official told CNN that Guzman, accompanied by a female, was captured in a joint. Operation of Mexican Marines and U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration agents that was in the works for four or five weeks. The pressure on Guzman's organization, the Sinaloa cartel, had been mounting for months, with Mexican authorities killing or capturing several of its most brutal lieutenants. A U.S. law enforcement official said, uh, "Those operation yielded information, including cell phone and other data, that helped Mexican authorities and U.S. drug enforcement agents track Guzman down." At a Mexico City news conference, Attorney General Jesus Murillo, 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 Car Caron said authorities came close to capturing Guzman, believed to be in his mid fifties, earlier this month. Guzman apparently moved around several Mazatlan homes connected by an elaborate network of tunnels, also linked to the city's sewage system. Murillo, Murillo, Carman, Carman, Caram said the doors of the seven homes were reinforced with steel. He said, which enabled. Guzman to escape via the tunnels before Marines could break down the doors. On other occasions, authorities decided against attempting to uh, apprehend Guzman in public places at the public beach resort. 
Murillo Karma said forensic experts had 100% confirmed mention of Guzman's identity. Authorities also seized a weapons cache that included 97 large guns, 36 handguns, two grand launchers and a rocket launcher. Mexican government footage showed a handcuffed Guzman with a dark mustache being escorted by ma masked marines in Mexico City. A U.S. Homeland Security official said key intelligence in the capture came from an immigration and customs enforcement investigation. Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto via Twitter recognized the work the work of Mexican security forces security forces in the historic arrest. Phil Jordan, uh, who spent three decades with the DEA, DEA and handed, headed the agency's El Paso Intelligence Center, said the said the arrest the arrest represents a huge blow to the Sin Sinaloa cartel. It is a significant arrest, provided he got extradited immediately to the United States, Jordan told CNN. If he does not get extradited, extradited, then he will be allowed to escape within a period of time. When you arrest the most powerful man in the, in the Americas and in Mexico, if you talk to any court member, they'll say that he's more powerful than Mexican President Peña Nieto. This would be a significant blow to the overall operations, not only in the Americas, but Chapo Guzman had expanded to Europe. He was all over the place. If he, if he is, in fact, in, in course, in course serrated until he gets Extradited, extradited to the United States. It will be business as usual. In Washington, U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder called the arrest a landmark achievement and a victory for the citizens of, of both Mexico and the United States. Guzman was one of the world's most wanted men and the alleged head of drug running empire that spans a continent continent holder said in a statement the criminal activity Guzman allegedly directed contributed to the death and destruction of millions of lives across the globe through drug addiction, violence and cor corruption. A senior administration official described the arrest as huge and said it was a Mexican-led operation but one with very strong U.S. government support. This has been a long time coming and hopefully puts a rest to the nonsense that is Mexican government isn't focusing on security and that the U.S. the U.S. and Mexico aren't working well together. The official to CNN. They are, and we do. In Chicago, where the city's crime commission last year named Guzman is public enemy number one, a, dis a designation originally crafted for Al Capone. Authorities praised the, uh, the arrest. Chicago is among the major destinations of the Carter's drug flow. The arrest of Chapo Guzman is significant. Police super, superintendent Gary McCarthy said in a statement, This is a victory, but we know that tentacles of his carter still exist and much more work remains to be done. Demand for 
narcotics will still will still remain. So we will continue continue to partner with the DEA as they the fight that as they fight international drug trade and we will remain focused on our efforts to eliminate the fo the factors that drive violence in our city from new york to chicago texas to san diego guzman and his lieutenant are named in indict indictment for marijuana, cocaine, and heroin trafficking, as well as racket racketeering, money money laundering, kidnapping, 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 and conspiracy to commit murder. In Mexico, in Mexico, in Mexico, the demu the demin the min the 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 demun the diminutive the diminutive the diminutive Guzman became a larger than life figure as he elude as he eluded authorities while expanding a drug expire empire that spanned the world. His life story became the topic of best selling books and the subject of a Doran songs known as Narco Narco Corridors in the United States in the United in the United States he's wanted on multiple fed federal drug trafficking and organized crime charges. His nickname, which means shorty, matches his five foot six inch frame. <coughs> Guzman escaped from a high-security Mexican prison in 2001, reportedly hiding in a laundry basket. Throughout the years, he avoided being caught because of his enormous power to bribe corrupt local, state, and federal Mexican officials. When you arrest Chapo Guzman, you are arresting the leader of all the cartels. Jordan said this guy had a hand in everything and he owned very polit he owned every politician. Guzman has been included in Forbes was most for in Forbes in Forbes in Forbes worst mo world's most powerful people list since two thousand nine. Forbes estimated is estimated his fortune at more than one billion dollar dollars. Guzman is wanted on numerous drug trafficking and organized crime charges in Mexico in Mexico and the United States, which had offered a five million dollars reward for information leading to his arrest and had sought his extradition in the past, his drug enterprise stretches throughout North America and reaches as far away as Europe and Australia. The Sinaloa cartel has been blamed for its role in the bloody drug war, war and has plagued Mexico in recent years and left tens of thousands of people dead. Guzman was born in Badia Bodiraguato, Sinaloa, Sinaloa. At a time when the drug trade was evolving and began his career in drug trading working for powerful drug lord Miguel, Miguel Angel Felix Gal, 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 Galilado. According to a biography Baton, he founded his own quarter in 1980 and quickly established outpost in a number of states, eventually inheriting some of his mentor's territory according to time. Guzman's arrest caught Jordan and other, and other observers by surprise. There is no way that I would have bet that they would have ever arrested him under his under this administration, unless he double-crossed somebody 
or didn't make the full payment on bribes. Uh, Jordan said, citing Guzman's alleged ties to the ruling institutional revolutionary party, something went wrong.